What's up guys, this is Grant from Brutally Delicious Podcast bringing you another review for an album that if anybody just wants to take my word for it, I am thoroughly impressed with. Today I am bringing you uh, As The Sun Falls new album Camos? Camos? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. It's K-A-A-O-M-S for anybody that wants to Google it. Uh, Build as Mellow Death from originally Switzerland and now Finland. Once again, I've got no idea who these guys are, if anybody watched, uh, listened to my last review, so I'm giving a first impression review. And this time round, I'm just going to talk about the album as a whole. I'm not going to be singling out individual tracks because one of the big things about this album, the way that the 11 tracks are structured, it it's beautiful and it it is designed to be listened to as one complete experience so I'm not going to isolate too much if you want to give this a listen give all of it a listen it's not one to pick out a favorite track or this one's particularly good it's beautifully put together it's absolutely sublime opens up with a beautiful little moody intro track that isn't necessarily part of the rest of it. It's three minutes of beautiful atmospheric building and sets the tone for what follows which is some really really well put together blackened mellow death. Mellow death is maybe not quite where I would build these guys personally and that's not a bad thing. Um, to quote Mike Patton Fuck genres. And this is kind of what these guys are doing here. I'm, they don't really get pigeonholed into anywhere in particular, which is, I think, why I like this so much. There's neoclassical elements going on there. There's hints of symphonic uh, metal going on in there. There's hints of black metal going on in there. You can clearly hear a bit of a classical music influence going on in the way that all of these tracks are structured, which only adds to the fact that it should be listened to as one complete peace, so to speak. Um, so let's go on to the mix. Uh, the mix on this is beautiful. It's nice, it's evenly blended. All of the musical elements are complementing each other in a nice, crisp fashion. There's nothing drowning each other out. There's nothing that you can't hear. Um, the guitar sound is really, really crisp. It cuts through really nicely. And likewise, the drum sound uh, really, really cuts through in all of the right areas without anything getting muddy or anything like that. Vocals wise, which is where I like to spend a little bit of time, I'm a bassist and vocalist uh, as well. The shades of Michael Ackerfeld to this guy when he's heavy in his vocals up and I like it. I really, really like it. It's low, it's got a rumble to it, but there's a divine clarity on these vocals that a lot of metal vocalists tend to forget. Um, you know, metal production, it's always, let's make it distorted, let's make it loud, let's make it as aggressive as it can possibly sound, and often being able to hear what the guy's saying gets lost in that mentality, and these guys have not gone with that mentality. They've gone for crisp, clean sound. Yes, the vocals are distorted, but you, you can make out what this guy's saying without a lyric sheet in front of you, which is really, really great. Thematically wise, as far as this album is concerned, there's a lot of sadness involved. There's a lot of negative emotion. And again, this is a little bit of a breath of fresh air. Um, metal, death metal especially, um, it's often a genre where violence reigns supreme. And it's very, very nice to hear a band that are as heavy as these guys tackling negative uh, emotions while remaining heavy. To summarise, this album's top class. It really, really is. Um, it's getting added to my playlist. I'm going to be checking out the rest of these guys' stuff. This has been a breath of fresh air in a genre, especially Scandinavian metal or death, where you a lot of bands run the risk of sounding the same. You know, you've got some big names from up there. You've got At The Gates. You've got Soil Work. You've got In Flames that are all, you know, battering out. A very good, very refined, very easily recognisable product. And these guys have just steered ever so slightly away from that traditional Scandinavian sound and given the listener something to experience that you don't really get much anymore. 
individualism, breaking down barriers, breaking down genres, breaking down boundaries. I don't rate the albums that I review. You don't get a 10 out of 10 or a 5 out of 10 or anything like that. But to go back to what I said at the beginning of this review, listen to it. It's As the Sun Falls, Camos, Camos, K-A-A-M-O-S. Get it Googled, get it listened to and support these guys because this was a special album. You will not be disappointed. This is Grant for the Brutally Delicious Podcast, signing off. Welcome to us talking about our podcast for a minute. What's the name of that podcast? That's Axe to Grind. Uh, and right now you're going to be getting a little a little taste of it, right down to the shaky microphone and all. <laughs> and my name's Bob. And my name's Patrick. And usually we're joined by Tom. Tom's the best. Tom has a real grown-up job that requires him to be at work. But we talk about decidedly not so grown-up things like... Hardcore music and things that people that like hardcore music tend to like. So that could be the latest shows, uh, revisiting classic material, talking about the new classics, um, all the little dorm room nonsense that you imagine from a niche music podcast that, that you either love, want to love, or hate. Yeah, imagine all the emotions that you have towards a genre that, that uh, has impacted your life uh, and then condense them down to an hour to two hours a week. So triangulate your speakers, think about jumping off the bed, singing along, dancing like an idiot, and listen to Axe Grind Podcast.